Hello, everybody, that's here. Here I am redesigning my custom build for the third time, recovering from the disastrous build experience I had the last time. A lot of things went wrong, starting with the wrong lenses on my camera, and I should be going home, but I forced it, and that was the wrong thing to do. Anyway, so I completed build, and before going home, I didn't film it, but I decided to power up the system, and it didn't post. So I was a little bit disappointed by that result and uh, I start blaming lots of things such as maybe extension cables bad, so I replace cables here, replace cable on motherboard, on a CPU, I even put my own dominator RAM, thinking maybe something something off with the memory. So I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And finally, I remembered that somebody posted on my uh, one of the previous videos that, hey, make sure that you don't have any trouble with the Razer extension cable because it's apparently get replaced by Thermotake. So I, I look up the information and sure enough, there's a campaign going on with replacing all those cables because it seems defective. One thing that kind of puzzling me here is that the problem was discovered in January. My client bought it in the mid-June, so it was more than six months for God's sake. And they're still adding those defective cables to the cases. And this is quite disappointing for me, not only because I wasted two hours of my life troubleshooting this bullshit, but also I think half a year is more than enough to sort out things and um, correct it. So I think Thermotec quite often coming with some quality issues. Uh, those of you who water cool for a while might remember that disaster with big water systems that was just like exploding and flooding uh, user computers for a while. And that was one of the reasons Thermotec exited water cooling because they had a, such a bad name they just uh, couldn't sell anything. And now they're kind of trying to go back. We'll see how it goes, but I'm at this point not very impressed. Anyways, still, until we test, we don't know. I assume that uh, the Razer card is bad and um, just need to remove all this mats that we don't need anymore. And uh, so basically what I read on the internet, the system doesn't post. And that seems like my case. We wouldn't know for sure until I put cards straight into the motherboard, but it's looked like it. Because when I disconnected Razer card and I connected monitor straight to the motherboard with onboard graphics, everything boots no problem. And also it seems like it's kind of booting, but uh, not to the end. Unfortunately, this is not as high-end motherboard as I usually do because I always buy motherboards that have an indicator that shows uh, the status of the boot so you see the error code. This one is like very basic so you can't really say it didn't beep, did nothing so it's just kind of stuck kind of story. So that's why it took actually a longer time to figure out what's going on but after consulting with my client, we figured out that we might need to wait another 2-3 weeks. Who God knows how long it takes to get a replacement Razer card from Thermotec. We decided that we reduced blink factor in this build. We had a, this beautiful GPU block from Watercool and there was a lot of plans to highlight it with LEDs and show, show things like it is full glory. But we will just go and change configuration when the car will be straight into the motherboard without any cable. My client doesn't want to have any potential problems when it will be hanging on the wall as a HTPC and something start doesn't go the right way. So it's a lot of hassle to remove it, redo it. So he said, like, I don't want it. And I agree with this. Although it hurts for me to spend so many hours trying to figure out the right combination of fittings and make actually pretty nice tube runs in my opinion. So now it will be totally different configuration. So I have to do this portion of the loop from reservoir to the card and from the GPU to the card, totally like new design. 
Anyway, so that's what we're going to do now. That's a good uh, a moment to test my uh, draining system. We'll see how it's easy to drain. And uh, I'm going to disconnect GPU, remove all those um, tubes out, put the razor cable in the garbage, reconnect this um, housing, this part of the case. So it will be support uh, different orientation for GPU and we will rebuild it back. All right guys, it's kind of a winded explanation, but uh, nevertheless I needed to get it off my chest because it was quite a stressful evening yesterday. Now it's Saturday and uh, I just want to make sure that card works. So I don't want to wait till next week and guessing is it card or cable. Also oh, everything pointing to the cable, I want to know for sure. For that reason I'm here on my weekend time and we'll finish this thing until I see that everything works properly. All right, I did small preparation. My spacing between a quick disconnect and a table is not enough, so I kind of tilted the case here just a little bit, so I can connect it. And um, we have our empty bucket. All I need to do is put this tube. Right, so you can see I connected the thing, nothing happening. Why is because if the loop is completely sealed, so the water cannot escape. But as soon as we open one of the stop plugs on the reservoir, it will start gushing down without much trouble. So you see, if you design your loop correctly, there's not much things you need to do to drain it. I had a very old video when I was flipping case and stuff like this. It was a long time ago. Those days are long gone. So right now, as you can see, it takes literally a couple of minutes to drain most of the liquid. I have a little bit of stuff trapped in a GPU just because of the configuration of the tubing I have, but we will sort this out by tilting case old ways, but the majority of the liquid already out, so I can even disconnect it. Um, using quick disconnect, my preferred way to make a drain points, I personally dislike using valves because uh, it's a little bit more work, you need to connect um, fitting to it with a tube, Make sure it doesn't leak and things like this with a quick disconnect, just connecting connecting your tube with quick disconnect to other one and it's uh, much less hassle in my opinion. So basically we're good to go for disconnecting tubes. All my hard work didn't pay off. It's really disappointing at this point. Okay. That's it. Okay, another feed. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, excellent. It was lucky. Now, now we need to cut it here. Yeah, cutting PTG is so easy. With acrylic that I usually use, you have to use saw. 
It's not that easy. Washing again. Just do quick fix. Yeah, it will do. I'll fill the system back quickly for the purpose of checking what's going on with GPU. If GPU is not fault, that's great. And I'll think more about Uber routing next week. Right now. I don't see how to do it nice way for that reason. I don't want to force it and spend the entire weekend here. It will come. You'll think about it in the back of your mind and eventually you sort it out. All right, let's hope no other <laughs> major leak as we had the last time. Need stop plug. That's what I forgot to put, which wasn't a very nice result because of that. Ready? There's no liquid. Accelerate the process, good idea to open other stop plug. Pump at speed one, that's why it goes so slowly. You can increase it a little bit. A little bit more liquid wouldn't hurt. Here's my bottle. Just to create less bubbles. I'll have to drain it obviously again. For the, because this part has, I don't know how, but not like this. That's for sure. Okay, perfect. Oh my God, this filling up system with a large tube reservoir is the best thing ever, like honestly. So much pain when I had a short one. 
almost all air out almost immediately nothing get recycled back to the pump amazing and wire pump that's the reason i always say get wire pump so you can regulate your speed and get rid of air really easy way okay nothing spills anywhere good news all right perfect now i need to disconnect all those cables again everything i trained and created so nicely nothing works anymore or oh, actually To connect it on the back too. First. Oh, those I hate those six plus two cable connectors. Really suck. Yeah, the whole thing now bended totally other opposite direction. So all my beautiful cable work gets screwed. Yeah, nothing leaking. Don't think we need anything here anymore. Or maybe something small at least. All I want to see if it's post or not. Power, power back. Monitor. DVI cable. Power on, keyboard, I don't really need it, but nevertheless. Okay. I'm not sure what you guys see, let me check first. Yeah, it's good enough. You can see monitor, that's all I needed to know at this point. <coughs> Oh, there is actually um indicator. I just couldn't see it. That's good news. Here you go. GPU, no issues. It was a Razer card, Razer cable. So everything works beautifully. Good news. All we need to figure out, nice tube routing, that everything happy and fill it with white liquid instead of um, clear. Thanks God. I feel relieved. Can go home now. Thanks for watching.